Great, great one. As always, I'd like to uh, thank our fans back <coughs> once again and uh, the alumni. We had a pep rally on uh, Friday and then uh, the captain's dinner. It was an awesome experience. And then uh, the, the pep rally or the uh, skull session was just full house. It was a, a great day. So thanks to uh, the alums for coming back. Thanks to our student body and Buckeye Nation. Uh, Dwayne, obviously, a great night. Incredible night, 455 yards, six touchdowns. Still not, you know, offensively had a lot of yards, still not doing what we need to do in the run game. And that, uh, that's something that's uh, alarming. So we just got to continue to work on that. Uh, defensively was not what we expected in the first half. You know, the guys are making plays in us. That a combination of uh, uh, poor pass rush and not blocking on your guys. You know, we've been fighting against the run, but the pass has been killing us, and that's going to bite us. It's something that we've got to get fixed. Uh, but I'll answer your question for you. Front row right here, Tim. Urban, what happened to you on the sideline there where you had to go down for a while? Like you were in the 15 yard line or so, which is out of the coach's box. But uh, I'm not laughing, but you know what I'm saying. But what, I'm just <laughs> yeah. but you ran into someone. I mean, what, what, what happened there? I just, I just, I dealt with headaches in the past. It yeah. So it was a headache, it wasn't a collision. Uh, did you think you might have to leave the game at that point? No. But when did he kind of come right for you? Just. Two minutes ago. No. <laughs> uh, number two, uh, the passing game. Obviously, like you just pointed out, uh, bail, I'm not saying bailed you out yet. I mean, the guy threw 455 and stuff. Paris Campbell, McLaurin, and those guys. What did you just see come alive as the game went on? Uh, Dwayne uh, would be the first one to tell you, and it's uh, a little different than when the run game's cooking, you know, the offensive line is the reason why. When the passing game's cooking, I mean, these guys make phenomenal catches and runs. And the offense line's going for the most part, I believe he gave up one sack tonight. Uh, we did have the one, we had two turnovers, which are awful. But uh, I mean, it's, it's, when you, when you, he's an accurate passer now. You give him time, and you give him you know, a good group of receivers, he's, he's a dangerous guy. Over to the left, Bill. You're 6 and out, halfway through the season now. You mentioned the running game and defense. defense. Yeah. How close are you, or how far away from you, from being a championship caliber? Uh, we're not worried about that. We just got to get ready for Minnesota, and uh, the guys saw what I saw. A lot of times we played outstanding with the big hits, and uh, we're, a man, we're a man coverage team, so we got to keep evaluating. But some of those weren't even on man coverage, so we just have to keep working at it. I trust our staff, I trust our players. We're banging up a little bit, and we're going to fight through it. We're going to play better. Over to the right, Austin. Urban, I know how you know, cautious you are about what I'm about to say sometimes. Through six games, what Dwayne Haskins is doing, do you, are you ready to give him your Heisman endorsement? Do you, do you think that it's fair to include him in that conversation right now? I never want to uh, uh, hold our players back. Uh, I don't know what else is out there. Uh, I'm worried about Minnesota. I'm worried about our defense. I'm worried about our run game. And I'm worried about getting guys healthy. But uh, I certainly never want to take away from the elite. I mean, 455 yards now. And uh, high, high end percentage completion is uh, 33 to 44. That's, that's, uh, I'm not going to hold him back. Our focus is on Minnesota. Over to the left, Doug. Ruben, you said you're a press man team. We know you guys have been that since you switched to that. Is there any possibility of consideration that in some situations backing off of that? Yeah. What we do, if you notice, uh, we do bail sometimes. We just hate to get free access to the people. And, you know, I think this was, you know, it didn't really snap at us like it did today. You know, Penn State, some guys made some plays on us, but uh, today we really, uh, we really felt it. I felt it. The first half was awful. Do, do you feel like the teams maybe are, are thinking we'll take some deep shots on these guys? Maybe we'll get a flag. Maybe we'll grab them. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't fear you guys like maybe sometimes they have in the past that your guys are going to make a play. Yeah, you know, I know we have very good personnel, and uh, it's just something we keep working at. But your your comment about are we going to take a look at other things we already have? Over to the right, Dan. You mentioned the run game was what you wanted, the defense was what you wanted, but you guys were really able to take care of business last year against Iowa after Penn State game. You guys were able to do that. Do you see that as a, a sign of growth from where this team is this year? I do, and uh, you know, I, we practiced very hard this week uh, after getting them at 3.30 in the morning. We were worried about that a little bit. The heat was there again all week. And, but, uh, you get out of this thing six and all and go work on your uh, fixing issues. That's what the, the game's all about. Malik Harrison, Cooper, I believe, both left the game early. What happened with that? Uh, 
know we're, they're still being evaluated. I don't know for sure yet. Over to the left, Ari. Where you guys put up a million yards and won by a lot? Um, but there were a lot of things that you said in terms of the defense being bad in the first half and things looking a little bit out of whack. I mean, I know at the end it looks great. Everything you guys did is probably what you want to do, but is that what an Ohio State letdown is looking like this year? Are you guys that good? I'm sure the question. Um, I just, if that's, if that's, I guess the question is, if that's a bad game and you still win like that, then that's a right. pretty good football team out there. I, we don't want to win like that here, but you know, we have a, we're going to enjoy the win like we just did. We're going to go back and, and uh, so start to get close to 300 yards passing in that first half. It's not, we did make some adjustments in second, played much better. Urban, how would you rate that game? Was that how much uh, rated? Not rated. I mean, you know, just like was that a good game, bad game, off game? I mean, on Darius Campbell, it's a hell of a game. Forty-two <laughs> yards, pass yeah, defense, you say, and pass pressure, pass rush. No, um, no, it was not very good. And then, you know, knocking people off, ball and running the ball, I don't think it was great. But I got to watch the video tape. We're just not uh, consistent in that area. Those two areas are the, the problem child right now. Okay, we got time for just one more set of questions. Uh, Rob, one to the right. Urban, good to see McLaurin can do more than block, right? I mean, is that? Yeah, he's a fellow player, and, uh, you know, he's, uh, like I told you, he started using the word Evan Spencer to see where he has to get plays. He's, uh, he's fantastic. And also, can you go as far as you want to go with an offense like this, as dynamic as it is, but a defense that gives up big plays? Is there a tri trade off? No, you can't. Yeah. At the end of the day, that uh, you have to play great defense to get where you got to get. And, uh, and I'm confident that we will. That's because of time we play great defense. And we, we have to get everybody healthy and get back to that. Great, Coach, thank you very much.